So in this video, I want to cover in a new way, the Tension Journal. I haven't covered it in a while and I wanna talk a little bit about the Tension Journal, especially for those of you that have not practiced it in a while or have not heard of it. And I wanna talk about how powerful it is to make a change. And I'm also gonna add some changes to it to make it work faster. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a little gift that will help you to build your tension and courage skills faster than ever before. So uh, let's dive in. What is the Tension Journal and why is it so powerful? Well, the Tension Journal is a process I created a while back. It helps you to develop your tension skills. You know, I'm always talking about the power of tension. Everything grows through tension, right? Like if you wanna activate the power in a seed so you can grow a tree, like for example, this tree over here, you have to plant that seed in the ground and ultimately it has to be buried in dirt under all that pressure and that activates its potential. And eventually the seed rots and then the tree starts to grow up through the ground for, as it digs its way to the surface through the dirt and ultimately grows. And in that you get its full expression. If you want to build muscles, for example, you got to build tension. You got to be, you got to use tension, right? You got to go to the gym, you got to lift weights, and then you got to use rest and relaxation and you got to feed the muscles and all this together builds your muscles. Well, let's, let's take approaching a beautiful woman, telling a beautiful woman she's beautiful moving or escalating sexually with a beautiful woman. It all takes tension skills. You gotta be able to step into that tension. You gotta be comfortable with that tension. So the tension journal starts to develop this ability. So many nice guys don't have this ability. They're terrible with tension. They're always avoiding tension. They're getting rid of tension and that kills sexual tension and that kills attraction. As a man, your most powerful quality as a masculine man is your ability with tension. If we go back to primitive time, men protected the tribe. You know, picture you're in a jungle somewhere in a forest and, and, they, and they clear out a field where you build the tribe. You build all the, the sh housing, the shelter, you bring the food. The men go out into the wild, into the tension to get the food and bring it back in, to get the supplies and bring it back in, into the dangerous parts, and they keep it safe. The women then fill that area with nurturing, with healing, with love, and together they work. One is internal, one is external. So your attractiveness, your sexual attractiveness is equal, it's kind of biological, to your ability to step into tension. Now today, you don't have to be able to step into as much tension as they did back then, but you still need to be able to demonstrate your ability to step into tension in some way, shape, or form. This is why the jock often gets the girl, because he can step into tension. He does it on the football field, ritualized forms of combat, the basketball court. He's able to express himself emotionally and that's another part because within the tension is vulnerability it's this emotion and once you're comfortable with the tension and then you relax into it there's this sense of self-expression so picture the captain of the football team expressive bold steps into tension he's not analytically expressive he's not sitting here going let's talk about our feelings logically he's just letting his emotions out the bad boy he's got emotions he steps into tension he says no he sets boundaries and so these types of guys tend to do better with women it's because they're comfortable with tension first, because it's hard to be comfortable with your emotions, truly comfortable with your emotions until you're comfortable with tension. Otherwise you'll analyze your emotions too much. So let's take a deeper look at this. But before I do, I wanna invite you to like and subscribe. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share the video, that would be awesome. Help us to grow the channel so we keep bringing you awesome content and uh, comment definitely put a comment below. If you're really liking the content we're bringing you and you like the content in this video, comment about the video. I definitely wanna hear what your experience with this idea is. Do you practice tension skills in your life? And, and it, almost everybody does somewhere. Do you do it consciously? Because what I'm gonna invite you into is this idea that you can now do it consciously and really grow it in a short period of time very quickly. Now that you're beginning to understand the idea of the importance of tension, I did a little kind of summary on that. I wanna talk about a client, not really even a client, a guy that came to one of my talks in Romania. And I talked about the Tension Journal there, which I'm now calling the Courage Journal. And he applied it. He went home and applied it just from a talk I did in Romania. You can find it on the YouTube channel. Uh, there's actually a video of that talk on the YouTube channel. It's a, just look up Romania or we'll see if we can link it in the video somewhere. And it was a fun talk. Uh, you see I was a little fatter in there. I had a big belly and had a blue shirt on. But it was a lot of fun. I had a, had a really good time. I was talking at one of Zam Perion's events. This guy listened to my description of the Tension Journal and he immediately went home and bought a really nice leather bound journal. I have a picture of it somewhere that he sent me. And he spent the next few months applying the principles I'm about to apply, uh, teach to you. And in a few months time, his whole life changed. He sent me a message on Messenger 
telling me all about it. In that short period of time, by applying the principles I taught him, he not uh, only got a new girlfriend, he went out and got himself a new girlfriend. He was happier than ever before. He also got himself a 9,000 euro a year raise at that time. That was a few years back. And he got himself uh, moved into a new place with her and he was starting a whole new life. And he said he was happier than he'd ever been before. That's the power of when you really apply the tension journal consistently. And, and I really want you to take that home. Really listen to what I just said. If you're willing to step into tension, and develop courage from it. Not reactivity, but a pr courage is proactive, anger is reactive, and you develop courage from it. This is the piece I didn't kind of say before. Get that proactive nature to it, then your whole life can change pretty radically and pretty fast. Give it a month or so to start compounding, and I'd say do this practice if you can for up to three months consistently, but commit to a period of time and stick to it. At least a week to start with, and then go from there. Now, so many of you guys on this channel have a tendency to say you're going to do stuff. And this is most people in the world, to be honest, not just you guys. Uh, but the truth is, is that we don't follow through. And that's the number one reason for failure in life is a lack of consistency. So I'm going to invite you that if there's any one thing you, you do consistently, do this. Start, have a start date and an end date. Follow through. Come back and comment on what happens. Okay? That's tension in of itself, even committing and saying, I'm going to follow through no matter what. Feel it. Really feel that tension building in your body. So find a period of time you can commit to that's not too much and go from there. Now, when I go to the, go to the rules of the tension journal and ultimately the courage journal, which we're starting to call it, then I want you to really think about what I just said. The amount of time based on the rules that you're willing to commit to and put that at the top of your, your, your uh, courage tension journal. So how did I come up with this? And then we're going to go into how to do it. How did I come up with this? Um, and then also, by the way, as a reminder, you got a special gift at the end I'm going to give you that will help you to grow it way faster and uh, help you to develop your courage skills so much easier and so much more powerfully. So make sure you stay tuned to the end to, to get that gift. Um, so how did I develop this? Well, I was at an event one time with, one, uh, with a mentor of mine I was learning from, and he was amazing with tension and pushing himself and pushing his boundaries. And I don't remember what was being said or, or what was going on, but I just got the idea that wait a minute, I can consciously practice being better with tension. I can consciously practice stepping into tension. At the time, I just thought of it as, I just thought of tension. So I took a little journal out. I had a little notebook. I carried it in my back pocket. And I just started to write down things. I'd say, you know what? What makes me nervous right now on a scale of one to 10? And I said, talking to that girl at that booth that's selling something right now, she's cute and that makes me nervous. How much? Oh, two or three. I'm, okay, cool. I'm going to go talk to her. And I go talk to her and immediately after I talk to her, write down how it made me feel and what I learned from it, how I grew from it, the realizations I had from it. And it was pretty damn awesome. I was like, okay, that was cool. I feel a little, little more inspired, a little more energy running through my body. I said, now what can I do? So then the next one I do is I see somebody walking, let's say, and I say, I, I can go stop and talk to that person. That makes me a little nervous. Maybe it's a four. Maybe that's somebody I really wanted to get some information from. And then I have a short conversation and I write down what I learned from that and how I feel in my body, how it's expanding, how it's growing. And then I go, what, what else can I do? Uh, maybe I see somebody throw some trash and it, it lands on the ground and, and nobody picks it up. So I walk up in front of everybody, pick up the trash and throw it away and, and then continue on with my day. And I write down how that made me feel. Maybe that made me feel two or three because what, what's this idiot picking up somebody else's trash for randomly or whatever, you know, story goes through your head. You'd be surprised what will cause tension at low levels. Now, tens being like through the roof and one or two or three are really low, but they still count. That's the, what, the other thing I want to point out. So I kept doing this and I would do twos and threes and occasionally I'd pop up to a five or a six. I might have had an occasional seven in there, but I mostly did lower to mid-level tension. And I particularly focus on the lower level tension. Why did I do this? Because I wanted to develop, now I realize looking back, courage with the tension. You see, when you do really high level tension, you're stepping into a lot of fear and you push through it and you might feel good afterwards or you might feel like you burned out a little bit. But if you keep doing that consistently, it's gonna feel like the next time you go to do it, like you don't wanna do this. Like, oh, geez, I don't wanna do this again because you pushed yourself so hard, it was work. But if you do these low level tensions 
over and over and over again. Step into it, write it down in your attention journal. Step into it, write it down in your attention journal. You're getting win after win. You tend to feel really good. It's like a good workout that's just the right amount where you feel amazing. And you do that over and over and over again, and it starts to compound. You start to feel amazing. And eventually, the sevens on your attention scale start to seem like twos and threes down the road. A month from now, you'll be surprised at what you're doing. And this is why this guy I referred to earlier changed so much. Because he just consistently did those low level tensions and he, you know, asking his boss for a raise and then eventually getting a new job and then eventually meeting this girl. And eventually what seemed scary started to become fun. Even approaching girls can start to become fun because now you associate it not with fear, but with courage. You see, fear doesn't assume there's, uh, courage doesn't assume there's no fear. When there's fear, there's courage, right? There always is, it's a, there are polarities for each other. And when you start to identify more with the courage, the fear becomes fun. Jumping out of a plane, skydiving, it's fun and it's exciting. Getting on a roller coaster, approaching that hop one. Or you could identify more with the fear. I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that. And what we're doing here is we're retraining the brain to associate tension with courage more than fear, which then eventually transmutes into acceptance and peace. And you begin to not even have tension, or it seems like there's no tension because you're so comfortable with it down the road. Um, so you got to raise the bar and go find some new levels of tension. And that's how you end up moving the sevens down to a three. So this is what I did. And it was really awesome. And I started to do it two different ways. And I'm going to give you both ways. I'm going to let you know how you can work both at the same time. You get a journal and you go out and every day I would write down three to five areas of my life that day. I'm going to step into tension. Maybe it's asking the boss for a raise. And uh, maybe I'm just going to find somebody to a cute girl to tell her she's cute today. You know, maybe that's a four on my attention scale. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to commit to anything else. Just tell her she's cute and walk away. Maybe I'm going to uh, call somebody that I need to resolve something with or, and I'm going to resolve it. Maybe there's a girl I've been thinking about that, that I kind of know likes me, but I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't want to call her because there's a sense that she's not safe because, because she, I really like her and she could reject me. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to call her. I'm going to resolve that. I'm going to burn that to the ground as my business partner likes to say. And then I'm going to get it, move on. So I'm not holding tension there. And that's maybe a five. And I might write that down. So that's three to five things a day. And that's all he did. This guy that bought the journal, the leather bound journal did to change his life. Now the next step, and this one I love, this is my, one of my favorites, is I would go out and I would step into, I'd take like anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour to an hour, 15 minutes to an hour, and usually not an hour, but somewhere in that range. And I just start stepping into tension consistently. I walk down the street and look for things I can do that step into tension. Oh, somebody got dropped from trash. Go pick it up, throw it away. Journal. And then I'll write down in my journal how I, what I learned from that, what I realized, how I grew. Walk over there. Oh, it's a cute blonde. I'm going to wave to her as I walk by. Write something down about that. And maybe I don't write them all at once. Maybe I do, do tension, you know, stuff for like five minutes, and then I write whatever came up for the last five minutes, and then I go out and do more, and I go do more. But I stay consistent with the practice for anywhere from, you could even do 10 minutes. 10 minutes up to an hour. My mind always says up to about 45 minutes because I tend to stop at about 45 minutes. But you decide what's right for you based on what makes you feel good. And then you journal more about it. At the end, you journal what you learn from that random set of stops and approaches and, and uh, things you did to step into tension. And you realize, you'll get a lot of realizations, understanding about tension, about courage, and about how to develop courage and how to enjoy courage more if you stay within the range. Remember, the range is one to 10, 10 being too much, and you're staying low on the range for the most part, occasionally big ones, because you don't want to burn yourself out. And that's what makes it work. So how you do this is every day, you pick three to five areas you're gonna step in attention that day. Maybe even two, two to five areas, let's say. And you, and you do those. And then maybe once, twice a week, you go out and you say, for the next 15 minutes to a half hour or so, I'm gonna step in attention consistently, and then I'm gonna journal about that. And I'm going to learn from this process and I'm going to grow from this process. And a lot of times I would, I would do one thing, step in the tension, journal about it really quick, a couple notes. Then I do another thing, journal about it, a couple notes and I compound them. And I just start to build this notebook full of places I've stepped into tension. And every day at the end of the day, right before bed, you read it. You read all of these places and these, 
the things you did and you go through the last few days and then you learn, read all the realizations you got from it. And then you take it into your dreams when you sleep. And this starts to really redevelop your subconscious mind to being a ballsy guy, a guy that steps in attention, that likes stepping in attention. And it's a lot of fun once you get it going. So I want to invite you into this idea of attention journal. And I want to ask you a question. I want you to comment below. Would you like us to create a literal tension journal that we sell that has all the places you write this stuff in at. If you would, definitely comment in the video below. I've been thinking about that. We've been talking about it for a while. We haven't done it yet. So if that's something you would like, let us know. And, um, and we'll, take, we'll take a look at that idea. Now, for the bonus. I told you there was going to be a bonus at the end. Something to help you grow this area faster. In the revealing process, we have a sheet of emotions. It goes apathy, grief, fear, uh, lust or wanting, anger, pride, courage, acceptance, love, peace. And it has all these subtle emotions under each category. It goes heavy to light. Apathy is the heaviest, then grief, then fear, then lust, then anger, then anger, pride, courage, because courage is the dividing line. So they're all intense, anger, pride, and courage, but courage is the lightest of the three intense energies. Then you start to relax into acceptance, and then love, and then ultimately peace ensues from all of that. So I want to give you the gift of this sheet that shows all, this whole list. It's a whole list of emotions, right? from apathy all the way to peace. Because within each one, there's more emotions. What, what do I mean by this? Courage, we have alive, alert, decisive, uh, driven. These are all vibrations of courage. And you'll notice they're very different than pride. And they're very different than anger. Anger is reactive. I'm stepping in attention, but I'm reactive. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm gonna force it. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna make it happen. It's rage, it's hate, it's, it's, it's attacking energy. It's pride is like judgment, it's cockiness, it's arrogance, it's win-lose. Courage is win-win. We're all gonna grow from this. And so when you get this sheet, especially if you're a nice guy, I encourage you every day for a little bit, for the first week or so, and then every, occasionally after that or more if you feel like you need to, read through the courage section. Actually read through anger, pride, and courage. All the different emotions, there's tons of them. And start to get a sense of the synonyms to courage and what uh, anger looks like and what pride looks like. And then every day as you go through it, just kind of let it seep into your subconscious mind and tell your subconscious mind, I want to develop more of that. I want to develop more courage. I want to feel what it's like to feel courage. And as you read each one, you can imagine a time you felt alert. You can imagine a time you felt alive. You can imagine a time you felt powerful. You felt decisive. And bring that into your life. Start to enjoy that. Start to picture that, start to remember times you felt it, and then start to notice when you felt it out tension journaling, when you're doing the practice. When you're out, maybe you're doing a 15 minute tension journaling practice, at the end of it you feel really powerful and you really feel your courage coming up. Just notice what that feels like. Because consciously noticing how you're growing, hindsight is so powerful for growing. It helps to get even more realizations and more growth. So I'm gonna invite you into this practice. To use to, and to use this sheet we'll have it as a download in this video so check it out it'll be somewhere in this video and also remember the video i mentioned it's of me giving a talk about this and some more things at uh, the zamperion event in romania we'll link that in here and you can check that out too and if you really want to understand the power of being really good with courage and stepping into courage and transmuting your anger to courage watch my recent video that i did on the man that went from being a <laughs> He, he became a Navy SEAL, then he became a doctor, and ultimately became an astronaut all by the age of 37. And how he used these types of principles to really shift his life and live the best life possible. I just put that out uh, a few weeks ago, so definitely look for the link for that of that video in this video and uh, check it out because you'll see these principles employed there. Maybe not consciously, but that's how he lived his life. He started out in anger with all the problems he had with his father and then grew from there and ultimately into this powerful, courageous individual. So check that out too. I Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of it. Definitely subscribe if you did. Hit that bell notification. Uh, give us a like, comment. We definitely want to hear your comments. Put comment galore, man. As you're doing this more and more, come back and comment a lot and share the video. It helps us to grow the channel, helps us to bring you more awesome content. With all that said, remember, only the confident really lives.